I ran in the house. I didn't say nothing to my mother. I didn't say nothing to my brothers and sisters. Um, I was crying. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get back at these dudes. Every single child that I saw had experienced something terrible, whether it was vicariously through another child or a parent or from a parent. I stopped mixing the hair around with the crack, put them together, smoking. Uh, hit some PCP. If I ask everyone right now, where were you when 9-11 happened? You instantaneously have a response. Because we were traumatized as a nation by what happened. So when you think about that, think of these children and how trauma can impact their ability to learn in the classroom. How can a child sit still and attend to a teacher if they're thinking about what has happened to them? If there has been some type of trauma. So very often it mimics ADHD when really it is trauma. I really believe that if we actually were to assess and intervene at the earliest possible moment for all children, but specifically children who are under-resourced, um, we would be able to improve uh, their outcomes overall, but criminality itself would decrease. I started learning about my mental illness. Um, I found myself standing up for everybody around me who deal with mental illness. The relationship between the low-income community, particularly the low-income black community, with prior exposure to the prison system um, and law enforcement is particularly fragile. I ran around for 40 some years doing drugs, running, and the whole time I was running for myself. <laughs> 